Hey everybody, my name is Rummy. Thank you for choosing this video. Today, I'm really excited to talk about the Logitech Slim Folio Pro for the iPad Pro 2018. Let's jump in. We're gonna talk about design, the keyboard, Bluetooth connection, the pencil, overall protection, how much I like it. Does it feel human? And I'll tell you right now, the human factor is like the best part of this, but it's not the only part, so let's talk about it. My name is Rummy. Thanks for choosing this video. Like, subscribe if you feel like it, and let's jump in. Okay. Did I ever completely get the lighting worked out? I don't know. Um, please let me know. Is it better? Did it ever improve? I mean, I know it's video by video, but what do you think? Taking a look at it, just propped up first of all, it looks really nice. It looks a lot like the Apple Folio, in fact. I did already put some stickers on it. You can check out these stickers at redbubble.com. Not sponsored. First thing to note is that this case is very sticky. It will pick up dirt, it will pick up lint, it will pick up staticky things. It just picks up whatever is around it. And in fact, I already see right around the edge, I can see that there's a little bit of wear. It's a little bit of wear from where you pop it up. Now, this flap, it might be one of my favorite parts and gets major points in the human factor because it's such a strong magnet. It's one of those that it's really satisfying. Now, the back is a bit plain, which is why I put some stickers on it but there's a little indent for where the camera goes, and then there's this layer that goes on top of it, which is actually what the keyboard kind of attaches with. It looks like there's a rubber kind of case, which is right around the corners. Let's open it up. There's a rubber case, which is right here, right here, and on the corners all the way down here, and it goes on the back. And then it attaches to this kind of flappy thing, which is the keyboard. So there's rubber, rubber and plastic, in fact, right here, protecting it, and then it attaches to the flap, and I'm assuming there's some sort of wiring, mechanical stuff going on up in here, and it props up just like that. I hope I'm making sense on this. I really hope I am. So you're probably thinking, that thing is pretty thick. And I will agree with you, it is a thicker case. The bridge is quite a bit thinner. Most cases are thinner. But the thing is, it protects it extremely well. I know it won't bend in this case. If you are wondering about bending, nope, not in this case. And it works so well that I can't even really complain about the size because it does work so well. Okay, open it up. Now, this thing attaches to the back, will stay out of the way, no big deal. It looks so clean. That's the thing is, even though it's bulky, it looks very clean and it, it just functions so well. Now, if you want your pencil to charge, you can also pop it, close it, no big deal, it'll charge, put the flap over it, yes, no, maybe so. The little sleevey thing, it's fine. I've heard that this keyboard is compared to the old MacBooks, the 2013-2015 Port MacBook Pro. That's what this keyboard feels like. And in fact, it might even feel a little bit better because the buttons are indented. They just feel really nice. They're clicky in a nice way. They aren't annoyingly loud like the newer MacBooks were for a little bit. They are just very clean. This is Rummy. Hello, how are you? And I, I get... Get aggressive. Get earthquakey with my typing. This function row was well thought out, it was well prepared, and it's something that is actually effective unlike the touch bar. I'm gonna call you out touch bar, and you're not the best. So we have a home button, double click, does the whole thing. This is keyboard brightness, we have three levels I believe, and it will time out very quickly to save battery life, but it's okay, it's backlit. I forgot to mention that, this is backlit and it's very, very nice to use at night. Search button, keyboard button. We do have a play pause button. It must not be completely connected. Um, what are we feeling? I've really actually been liking um, Quinn. We have volume up and down. If you ever play pause, and then we have a lock button. We do have a Bluetooth button right here and a battery button. 
So let's open up LumaFusion, and I want to just show you how I edit on LumaFusion on this keyboard. Some people like seeing it. If you don't, that's fine. If you want to see it, keep watching. So this was a video I made for another channel, so I'm just going to show you. We're going to cut it up a little bit. I'm going to show you the latency, the speed of it, the comfiness, and just the whole dealio. So let's do this. Okay. Wow, that's quite the delay, in fact. Luma Fusion is not the fastest with scrubbing. Um, it's just not. Especially with the keyboard, it's not the speediest of experiences. So, is this the best keyboard for editing? Uh, maybe not, just simply because of this latency that we're experiencing. No, time to be However, when we go in here, and when we're typing, made on iPad by Rummy. Thank you for watching. It's entirely comfortable. And I don't have any problem typing on it. Okay. There's some typing, it's comfortable. Let's talk about viewing angles. There's this one, and then there's this one. I'm going to give this case a full 10 out of 10. I've never done that before, but this case, it does it. I like the magnets, I like the protection, I love the keyboard, and it's a really satisfying, human, pleasurable experience to use this case. All right, there you have it. There is the Logitech Slim Folio Pro for the iPad Pro. Absolutely love it. Absolutely am very happy with it, and I do recommend this over the Apple keyboard, over a separate keyboard and case. This case, the Logitech, it does it all. I'm very happy with it. My channel lately has been about mental health. Uh, I do ketamine infusions uh, for depression and bipolar. I move a lot. I moved home from college to deal with my health and now I kind of talk about that. I talk about being at home and my health and kind of what that experience has been like. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Romy. I will see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.